Welcome back or welcome to my channel where I teach. So today we're going to be talking about a very popular topic which is weight loss, specifically the psychology of weight loss. So if you're someone who's been stuck and you've been on a plateau and you can't lose weight or if you're someone who's just been frustrated over yo-yoing with diets and you're like, ugh, why can't I lose weight? You feel like there's this invisible force that's acting against you and you don't understand how it works. Well, you're right. There is an invisible force and this invisible force that acts for you or against you is exactly what aligns with your psychology for weight loss. So what that is, is your subconscious programming. So if you've watched any of my other videos, you know this, but I'll say it for repetition. Our conscious mind, rational thinking, wakeful mind processes only around six to 40 bits of information per second. Our subconscious mind processes over 40 million bits of information per second. So the subconscious is really running our whole lives, right? Because weight loss is something that is available for everyone. And it's not something that's rocket science. You Google how to lose weight or you enter into YouTube how to lose weight, you're going to get a lot of different methods and most of them will work. So the question is, why aren't you following through with the actions or habits to make it happen? And it all comes down to your subconscious programming. So if you feel like you've been stuck, this is the thing that has got you stuck. You have beliefs that don't align with your ideal outcome. So let's step back a few paces and start here. What I want you to do is get complete clarity with what kind of body and physical health that you want to have. All right. This is the beginning of everything. This is a foundation. You have to know where am I trying to go, right? What are the coordinates you're putting into your GPS? So right now, write it down. You know, it could be a paragraph. It could be a couple sentences. If you want to lose weight, well, what weight do you want to arrive at? Do you want to lose 10 pounds, 50 pounds, hundred pounds? Do you just want to lose weight? Do you want to build muscle? Get clarity around exactly what you want to create with your body. If you don't have that clarity, then how are you supposed to put together a game plan to get there? It's pretty difficult and that leaves many people stuck. So first step, get clarity. What do you want this body to look like? What do you want it to feel like, right? If you want to lose weight, specifically just say, how much weight do you want to lose? Now, once you have that, you must ask yourself, what am I currently believing that's holding me back from doing this, right? So some people, especially people who have been damaged in relationships, they hold these beliefs that if they lose weight, maybe they'll get in another relationship and they'll get hurt again. So they literally subconsciously sabotage themselves by continuing to eat and eat and eat to actually grow themselves bigger to push people out. Now we all have these subconscious beliefs are either working for us or against us. So you must understand that if you have beliefs that are sabotaging you, you've got to change them, right? So that's some deep work for you to do. If you want some help with this specifically, I have a couple of resources. I have a mental fitness training course. I'll link it in the description below. It will take you through the process of really identifying what that is because the best I can do in this video is give you a high level look at how this works because you need to identify what beliefs currently are holding you back from achieving that weight loss goal. And then you need to get clarity on what beliefs do you need to hold about yourself to achieve that weight loss goal. So you need to believe you're the kind of person who works out five times a week. You need to believe that you're worthy of looking and feeling amazing. You need to believe you have the discipline to count your calories every day, right? These are just beliefs you need to hold about yourself because as long as your subconscious beliefs are in contradiction with this weight loss goal you have, you're going to do whatever it takes to self-sabotage and you're going to blame it on X, Y, and Z. You're going to be saying, oh, well, it's the diet's fault or I was too busy or I don't have time for the, this specific workout plan or it's too confusing. We all know that's not the issue. The core issue comes down to your own subconscious programming and whether it aligns with what you actually want. Now, once you get that aligned, you can take the final step, which is putting the habits in place to achieve that weight loss goal. Now, habits are actually very psychological because habits are something that exists in the subconscious level, right? They are something once they're built, it takes very little friction to follow through with them. 
So an example is brushing your teeth in the morning or taking a shower. You're not like, oh, I gotta go do this thing again. No, you just do it because it's a habit you've built. I'm sure you have many habits that you do consistently, you don't think twice about. So we need to decide what habits are necessary to achieve your weight loss goal. So if you wanna lose weight, maybe you should consider a habit like exercising 30 minutes a day, five times a week. And maybe you go so far to build this habit by scheduling it on your calendar and saying, hey, I'm gonna do it at 5 to 5.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. Whatever works for you, right? So you need habits for exercise, you need habits for your nutrition, you need habits for your sleep, you need habits for your stress management. Now all the information is out there and many of you already know, I have a fitness channel, it's called The Jump Rope Dude, so if you want help, I basically lay all that stuff out for free on that channel, so I'll link that up for you as well. But what I want you to understand is that the first step is in achieving your weight loss goals is aligning your subconscious, all right? It's gotta be working for you, not against you. And that at its core is the psychology of weight loss. Don't overcomplicate it. Step one, get clarity about what kind of weight loss you want, how much you wanna lose, foo. Step number two, what beliefs do you need to change that are currently holding you back from achieving that? And what, at the same time, what beliefs do you need to incorporate to make sure you achieve that? And then step three, what habits, which are consistent actions you're doing on a daily or weekly basis, do you need in place to achieve that ideal outcome? So there's no excuses now. You fully are locked in psychologically to achieve your weight loss goals. Go do the thing, take the action if you need help from me. Uh, I also have some other resources I'll put in the description below. I've got lots of stuff to help you out. I'm here for you. If you need me, if you have questions, drop them in the comment section below. I've helped thousands of people go through weight loss transformations uh, through my other company, Jump Rope Dude. So I know this topic very well and very happy to answer any questions you might have. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Tell all your friends this is a place to get the best mindset material to help you control how you feel, behave, and what you're creating in your life. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video. Man, it is crazy to sit back and watch this video. I don't recognize myself. I don't look like this guy at all anymore. Um, but I love that guy, you know, because I know what he was going through. He had a lot of emotional things happening and he used to eat to cover it up. And there isn't any pill or potion out there that's going to cure that. And I think that's why so many people struggle with this thing. And so that's why I started this website. I want to help people. I want to help you do what I've done. And I'm proof that my, my strategies work. What I know works, what I do works. And you can see that right now on the screen, that's me. It looks like two different people, but it's just me. One was was a compulsive overeating food addict and, and the other one is still a compulsive overeating food addict, but one of them's in control of it and one of them isn't. And you can get control so easily once you know how. Once you know how to get control, you can do it. And you know, I'm, I'll help you every step of the way. I really will. Check the description below to join your GAV weight loss program today. Don't forget, start today.